yes you have nifty charts here so today's candlestick if you see you can clearly see that it's in this see, it's a very small body small. and it's consolidating for the reasons the last three days after a big breakout more that happened three days before so it's a bait for the fed event basically so it did not cross the new all-time high that was made yesterday today that didn't happen but it's in this is see it's very clearly see so if you look at the intraday it's like you can see that it's a range bound it's not completely range bound and then flattish range bound move is what you can see daily on the hourly charts if you see you can see see that it has been consolidating and it's you know after the breakout it happened three days before it's just consolidating so it's waiting for a you know to get a reward trigger to get broke out so nothing which happened for us compared to yesterday it was more absolutely flat than yesterday today if you see on the longer time frame on the daily charts you can see that the trend line is there and the upside potential is there up towards 25 8 15 nearby zones and if you look at the bank if you, you have seen yesterday that this trend line breakout has happened and there is in moral head and shoulder that has happened trade mode with the um small new high was made has known about the previous kind of size but did not sustain that and fall down but it didn't create a bull trap uh did more but it's facing some resistance bank to do the same you can see the inverter head and shoulder breakout has already happened on the hourly charts and then it's consolidating just like t and the major resistance would be would be this um, zone of you know, 50 to 500 where the major uh, resistance is then after that it is the all-time high levels before that we have 53,000 so 52, 53,000 and then all-time highs as well so that's very close by thousand points only that can easily happen so now if you look at um, the market overview today's price action so you can sectorially if you see it's the different sectors of the pharma the IT and the FMCG that is what is holding the market. This what those are having the still moment in the bullish. The stocks that performed are like this. So it is flattish more more or less. If you look at the options, just because you have the bank of the expiry that's coming on tomorrow, weekly expiries. Let's try to understand that. So bank of T's opponent is showing the levels as you have seen here. So it's going to be 52 5. So the highest uh, red indicates the highest support. Highest support is at 50. 1500 and our resistance is at 50 53000 and second highest is at 51500 and then 53000 so that's the range where the price is going to be there so it's matching you can see that the pcr is also bullish right which is of future stop interest is also absolutely bullish because it's having a short covering on the bank all right Today also it had a short covering. That's what is happening. So it's waiting for the breakout. So the bank Nifty can explode, but even for the demand is tomorrow night. So we gotta wait for that. That's all. Thank you.